Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So, I come across this article here. It says Hurricane Nate lashes Louisiana. Category 2 landfall expected. So obviously it's strengthened quite a bit since it's hit into the Gulf. Um, now that it's supposed to be a Category 2 before landfall. And they were talking, what, yesterday, uh, only possibly a Category 1. But it goes on to say the outer bands of Hurricane Nate reached the Louisiana coast early Saturday afternoon with the fast moving system expected to make landfall as a Category 2 storm late in the evening southeast of New Orleans, the National Hurricane Center and C CNN meteorologists said. It says wind and rain from Nate pounded Grand Isle and Port Saul for Louisiana as the storm with sustained winds of 90 miles per hour sprinted towards the land at 25 miles per hour so that would mean it really is a really fast storm it said it was still a category one storm at 2 p.m. eastern when the hurricane center first issued its most recent advisory louisiana governor john bell edwards encouraged residents to prepare for nate as if it were a much stronger storm everyone who has been told to evacuate or would like to do so should do it now he said around 1 p.m. eastern adding that within three hours everyone should stay Put indoors. So here's, let's take a look at this right here. As you can see, it's approaching New Orleans or the Gulf Coast, I should say, more in general. But it says Nate is moving quickly to the north northwest at 22 miles an hour with sustained winds of 85 miles an hour. This was reported earlier, though, but you can see that it's now just starting to hit around Louisiana and so you know this is uh, definitely hopefully they take his advice and uh, uh, evacuate and if not um, you know hopefully you know there's you know people don't end up losing their lives because they decided to stay so it's gonna be a much stronger storm than expected so hopefully people get out of there the storm could make landfall Saturday night um, near where Hurricane Katrina, which devastated New Orleans and Mississippi Gulf Coast, hit in 2005. The storm had expected to slam the coast hours later, but predictions were altered as it sped up. It goes on to say that the hurricane warnings were in effect for New Orleans, including um, Lake uh, Poncher Train. I don't know. I don't even want to try to pronounce that but from Grand Isle uh, Louisiana East Alabama slash Florida border a storm surge warning was in place from Morgan City Louisiana to the to uh, let's see here see if there's any or oh, it goes goes on to say the storm's reach will be wide CNN's meteorologist Chad Meyer said with strong winds affecting the population centers from New Orleans to Panama City Florida Biloxi Mississippi could experience gusts of up to 100 miles per hour so here's you, you can see the current track well that they're expecting it to make landfall at so it looks like it's just gonna brush Louisiana but at the same time it's around the same area where they've you know that's already been devastated years ago so it says Nate was expected to knock down power lines and trees from Lake Charles Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle and possibly leave at least one million people without electricity you know so I mean this whole area is going to be affected you know Georgia Florida Louisiana uh, Mississippi Let's go on here. It says preparations to protect life and property should be rushed to, the com to uh, completion in these areas as tropical storm conditions will first arrive in warning area this afternoon. So they've already started to arrive. Um, so if they're not prepared already, then it, it's honestly, a, you're probably a little too late. Um, it says Nate could drop three to six inches of rain with 10 inches possible in some areas. Um, it says New Orleans could experience 69 feet of storm surge as well. At least 25 people were killed in Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras from this storm. So as you can see, I mean, it's already been a deadly storm. Um, and it's strengthening. And, you know, uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to those that already, 
been affected and, and the families of those who have tragically lost their lives already due to uh, Hurricane Nate. So I just really pray that everyone's safe in these areas along the Gulf Coast. And if you can, uh, you know, hopefully you do do evacuate. You know, the storm's going to be much stronger than expected. So, again, you know, I just wanted to up this, update this because it's it's strengthened a lot overnight. So it's it's going to be a much powerful storm. And if, so if you didn't think it was going to be all that powerful when you planned on just staying that, it, it, you know, and just hunkering down and trying to um, get through it that way, I'd suggest maybe you know changing changing plans if you can. But you know, we'll, you know, just, again, my thoughts, prayers go out to everyone uh, along the Gulf Coast and those that have already been affected. And thanks for, for watching the channel and, and these videos. Uh, I do appreciate that. Uh, so I'll keep you updated uh, if there is any more updates. So have a blessed day. Peace.